Who want it? Come and get it. The data stick. his life is at risk. I know, but they're getting away with the data. It's just like his mother. He's always got to break the rules. My decision is final, Agent Cole. You are not to jump. Do you hear me? You are not to jump that fence. The 21st century faces a new kind of threat. Old school spies have had their day and MI9 must create a new breed of skilled undercover agent. Hidden in a place no villain will think to look. Welcome to MI High. Miss, it's the last day of term. Lofty day. Yeah, miss. You could have worn what you wear at home. This is what I wear at home. <laughs> what she wears in the shower. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Um, Oscar, we've got some news. Yeah? It's about your mum. She's in jail. Hope she rots. Yes, my new special ops case. Top of the range, incredibly I'm powerful sorry. core power unit. Moved to a more comfortable cell. Are you kidding me? Oscar, look, I've spoken with your mother, and she's promised to behave herself and do her time. You've spoken to my mum. Yes. After everything she's put me through. Oscar, please. What's important right now is that stolen data disk, which we'd have if we did things my way. That fence was electrified. This is because my mum works for Scar. You've never trusted me. I know Agent that. Cole. Either control yourself, or I suggest you remove yourself from duty. You see, this is exactly why I'm recommending MI High be shut down. I'm sorry, what? Just because of what Oscar did. Our track record has been impeccable. All right, right. that's enough. We have a stolen disc to find. I'd rather not waste any more time. I don't care if it's the last day on Earth. No one is going home early. I got a bad stomach. Bad throat. Bad hair. Oh, miss, 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 wait, wait, wait. I've got a note from my mum. Timothy is well sick, in it, And not sick as in good, but sick as in yakking it up big time. EDH. The ring your dad gave you. I wish my dad was a super spy. You don't get many accountants missing, actually. <laughs> my dad's dead, Rose. It's all Skull's fault. Which is why I need you two to promise me you're not going to tell anyone I'm going to join Skull. What? Oscar! If I'm going to bring it down, I need to be working on the inside. Are you nuts? Stop already wants to shut us down. Is that all you care about? How about us against her? I'll be okay, Edge. I've got a plan. Just promise me you won't tell anyone. Promise. Skull already know you're a spy. It's too dangerous. Maybe. What have I got left to lose? Yeah, of course I know where they are. No, I understand, Mum. Yes, we'll be the ASAP. There you are. Where's Oscar? Frank, we need to talk. There's something um, you should know. Yeah, that, um, Oscar's taking some time off. Time off? Yeah, um, what for the panic? Well, Star's got a lead on the stolen disc. He's located into a warehouse on Station Street. Uh, MI9 wanted to catch them red-handed. Bingo. 
MI9 security codes. Don't move, Sonny. It's okay. It's all right. I'm a friend. I want to join Skull. I recognize you. You're one of those kids that was chasing us. That's because I used to work for MI9. They're outside right now. You've got to get out of here. So why MI9? Get up guides wouldn't have you. Get ready to move on my command. I'm telling you, I want to join Skull. Stop! Let me have a look at I am a scrawny. Oh, why me? You've been reading your dad's aftershave. Pity you didn't do the same. I go, go, go! Come on. I'm Vincent. We can escape through the sewers. I'll imagine you'll feel at home. Grab the cords. Nobody move! This is MI9! Repeat, this is... This is... This is embarrassing. Do a search. Find me something! Oscar's ring. What was he doing here? It means he's found Skull. Right. Now just stand there and try not to look nervous. Or stupid. What? Tell you what, just stand there. What's this? You dare to bring a stranger in here without my permission? Wait. Vincent. You cretin. This boy works for MI9. And the last time I was here, you offered me a job, remember? Yes. An offer which you rejected just before you betrayed me. Then you know how it feels. My mum betrayed me. And now, so of MI9. You're lying. Take him to the dungeons. Wait! I've been after you for years, and you're always one step ahead. I want to learn from the master. So, there is one way that you could prove his loyalty. Of course. Vincent here is planning to kidnap the head of MI9. Help him. Or the dungeons will be the least of your concerns. Look, if Oscar gets hurt, it's not just him that's affected. Yes, I know, Rose. You lose your job. It's so nice not having feelings. I know exactly what Oscar's going through. Before MI High, I was alone who thought everyone was against me, so don't talk to me about feelings. Okay, um, maybe we should just tell Frank then. Tell Frank what? Rose? Why don't you tell him? And get Frank into trouble as well. If anyone's going to find Oscar, it's got to be us. OK, so Oscar said he had a plan. Maybe his foster family will know something. I was thinking, maybe you and me could do the kidnap. Because those three will both be there. Heavy-handed. Since when have you cared about hurting anyone? <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, listen up. 
plan is to kidnap the head of MI9 on our way to work. We'll meet up at the hair salon, then it's on plastic. Why the hair salon? So you can get your highlights done. Gentlemen, please. The plan won't work. The head of MI9 makes three underground car changes every journey. They'll never keep up. What? And you never knew this. But I know she goes jogging every Wednesday. We can kidnap her there. Excellent. I'm handing control of the kidnap over to you. Wait, wait. You can't just give it to And you. one more mistake from you, and you will be sorry. So very sorry. When Oscar's mum defected to Skull, he was put under witness protection. Yeah, but we thought he lived with a proper family. No offense. MI9 thought he'd be safer with another agent, that's all. And has Oscar said anything weird? Maybe about getting revenge on Skull? I've tried bonding with Oscar. He hardly leaves his room. This is how Oscar likes it. What's this keypad for? His birthday doesn't work. Try EDH as dad's initials. Wow. Oscar's been doing his own investigation. He's got his dad's MI9 file. Edward Dixon Halliday, stationed in Africa. It's where his dad went missing in action. Oscar was probably trying to find out what happened to him. No wonder Oscar thinks his dad's dead. These leaks don't go anywhere. Hey, I remember that. We use it to find Agent X. Shows any hidden watermarks. Probably worth a shot. An old postcard. Yeah, but the question is, why is the address hidden on it? It could be a secret drop-off. Where agents hide gadgets and money for emergencies? Carrie, you're a genius. Well, it has been said. I bet Oscar missed it too, which means it's not a dead end. His dad still might be alive. I'm sorry. About earlier. I didn't mean to get you in trouble. You like your teacher's pet, the new general flopsy. The ears aren't big enough, eh? <laughs> Only I heard that, before Skull, you were living on the streets. Stop the van! Stop the van! Come on, I was only winding you up. See you, you need to stand up for yourself. Listen, listen. I've met real criminals, and they've all got the same look in their eye. You what? I had a look at you and... You're not a bad person. Hey, what are you doing? I'm giving you a chance. No. Get out of Skull and never come back. Bus! He was chickening out! You got a problem with that? Oscar. It's not too late to make something of your life. Oscar! Hold up! Oscar! Oscar! doing here? Let's get out of here. Hello? Anybody home? This is worse than Oscar's room. Rose, look. Check it out. Bingo. Everything an agent would need in an emergency. And if you think you're going to nick it, you can think again. Us nick it? These gadgets belong to our friend's dad. Look, we just want to look through them, see if we can maybe find out where he is. Please. His son's in trouble. You just come in here just for this friend of yours. He did the same for us. I didn't nick it. Edward asked me to get it for him. Wait. You know Edward Dixon Halliday? You mean he's still alive? If you want, I'll take you to him.
Agent Cole, you better have one almighty explanation for all of this. Look, I've got a plan. I'm going to bring down Skull, but this time I'm doing it my way. Isn't this cosy? Do you really think I would allow you to betray me a second time? I've just helped you kidnap the head of MI9. Exactly. Thanks to you, I now have two prisoners for the price of one. <laughs> Wait! You have to believe me, I want to work for Skull, I swear! <laughs> <laughs> Vincent, when you say you know Edward, does he know you? Do you want to see Eddie or not? Yeah, but do you promise you didn't just break in? Break in? Now, why would I want to break into my own apartment? Halliday. Edward Dixon Halliday. Oscar's dad. Now, it's 1,500 hours, which means that son of mine will just have been locked up with the head of MI9. So, who's up for a daredevil rescue fraught with inconceivable danger? Splendid. I wonder if he can help. I'm looking for a vacant stair. Oh, that's very good. This guy's unbelievable. Rose, call MI9 and tell them where we are. You two. What are you doing here? We had some help. Do I know you? Seriously, we're going to have to do something about that aftershave. <laughs> Vincent. Actually, the name's Edward. Oscar. Say hello to your dad. No, Oscar. No. No. My dad's dead. You can't be him. When you were four, I took a mission in Africa. I was captured. Put in prison. It took me nine years to escape. Why didn't you come and find Oscar? Skull was trying to find him too. The only way Oscar would ever be safe was if I destroyed them first. So I went undercover. As Vincent. Wait. You're the mole? For over a year, someone in Skull has been leaking us information. I had no idea. What? Everyone knows about my dad. He could be lying about everything. There is one more thing. The ring I gave you the day I left, remember? I, uh, found it at the warehouse. As you know, the ring is DNA sensitive. If we don't share the same blood, could I really do this? Dad? Hello. 
The whole of MI9 could be on their way here by now. Well, here's one mole trap from which there's no... Escape. Self-destruct initiated. No, for the Grandmaster. This building will self-destruct in five minutes. Initiating lockdown. Lockdown? Quick! <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> the Grandmaster's locked every door in the building. Well, can you override it? And I can isolate the circuit, but I'll need an external power source. Swipe up battery. <laughs> the doors have opened halfway. It's eating the power like crazy. Carrie, give me your battery. I can use this to replace them when they run out. I'll give you time to escape. Uh, and how are you going to get out? I'm not. I got you into this. Agent Cole, I've spoken to you before about codes of conduct. Oscar's right. One of us has to stay. Put my legs shattered. I'm not going to make it out here in time anyway. Dad, no. I told you. This is all my fault. Oscar, think. There's no point in both of us. We haven't got a choice. Self-destruct in four minutes. I'm not leaving you here. We've only just... It's not fair. I saw what kind of son I have. Now make me even more proud. Now go, all of you, quickly! generator. It's the most advanced power source in the world. It's like a mega battery. Should open every door in the building. It doesn't matter. The building's about to blow anyway. Oscar, if you go in there, you'll die. If I don't, I'll never be able to live with myself. It's the blue wire. Behold, Flopsy, the price of treachery. Lost. Just missing in action. Hey, Dad. <laughs> not only, not 
only did you go undercover without MI9's consent. Who's he talking to, me or you? But you two failed to report it. As such, I'm recommending that MI High be shut down immediately. I agree. You three cannot be allowed to continue. Yes. At least not as junior officers. What? I'm returning to MI9. Heading up an elite unit of full-time agents. I want you three to join. Permission to say, in your face. Mom. I think you just did. I mean, there is a catch. Taking the job means leaving some hopes. So, um, the job, it would mean leaving St. Hopes and am I high? See you later, bro. Yeah? <laughs> you hang it loose. Nice outfit. Well, thanks. I mean, <sighs> if it was in black. Well, have you made your decision? There's no going back. You know that. Nothing lasts forever, right? Well, all I know is that uh, whoever replaces you will have a lot to live up to. And if I had my way... <laughs> we'll miss you too. Let's go save the world. <laughs> <laughs>